Four men, one mission, one goal. To seek answers from the paranormal world, exploring haunted locations. For centuries that quest has continued, but answers still remain. Do ghosts exist amongst the living? We seek the truth and believe paranormal worlds exist and remain and reach out in many forms. Ghosts, ghosts demons, 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 poltergeists, dark energies. We seek only the truth, for what we believe is the truth. Paranormal worlds exist and reach out in many forms. Follow our quest, our journey, through haunted England into the dark side, to seek the truth. The Hellfire Club, formerly known as Montpellier Hill, built by William Connolly on the site of an ancient cairn and constructed using ancient burial stones. It is no wonder that claims of paranormal activity is right within this ancient skeletal building. Bad luck and misfortune followed and after Connolly's demise soon after completion it became the Grand Lodge for the secret meetings of the Dublin Hellfire Club. A place where noblemen and high-ranking officials held court, some claim held rituals and were saintinists and devil worshippers. Surrounded by myth and legend, there is no one truth that cannot be denied. The negative energies and paranormal activity that takes place here. Some say only madmen dare enter upon a dark moonlit night. So come and join us on our quest to the Elfire Caves in Montpellier Hill, the Crypt of the Dead. Think so. A bit fresh. There's Dublin. Where's Dublin? Beautiful, what, isn't it? It's Dublin, isn't it? Here we are then. The most pleasant place in the world, is it? The head, the head of men would sit here on these things, isn't it? That's what these are for. And then they're, they're covered out here. This, this is part of an old, an old stone table. And they used to, uh, as far as I can make out, as far as I can feel, they used to put um, probably naked, naked women. And, and I've got a feeling they used to be children as well. Really bad. Um, but yeah, this this is where they, they would sit, the people, um, and the rituals would be carried out under their instructions here. Here, as I said, there was another floor here, and then you, you know someone else would be going on upstairs. That was really strange, but I think they like it. It's definitely a um, definitely a weird ritual that's going on in here. So the naked sitting here. The guys, there's a huge warmth coming off of these areas here, so this has still got really powerful energy. Um, and it had nothing to do with religion as such, but there was definitely something going on around here. What are them? Are they, are they like seats? Yeah, this is where they used to sit. So that would make sense, wouldn't it? I don't know. But yes, to me it makes sense because I can see them sitting in here as part of the ritual that would bring in uh, the people to be whatever they used to do to these people, whether it was to cleanse them, whether it was to abuse them. Um, I don't know, I think we'll have to go into it further. But I think that we've got, we've got some really weird stuff going on. What were the no, stones? when this was built. Irish dignitaries. Irish dignitaries like lawyers, you know, judges. Um, I'm picking up politicians and people who actually run probably Dublin. They would be up here running these rituals. It's, it's a bit like the sort of um, what would it? What were they called? Um, Secret society, wasn't it? Yeah, this the thing was it, come and do what they want. And it was a massive. Right. I like the inscriptions on the walls as well. I mean, they're obviously going back a while. You mean the ones carved into the stone? 1848. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. 
you know. Just saw it. Um, always interested in carving in stones, you know, because it tells a lot of stories. It's the same sort of same sort of thing again, isn't it? So whether that was a doorway originally. This looks like that that's been blocked up at some stage. Doesn't it? There. That was obviously a Tell me that I ain't got the twist of Southern Ireland. Why do Did it make you feel big and powerful? This is why you build the place on top of the hill, looking down at all the people, your, your, what you owned, your land, well, I'm not sure all you is. hierarchy. Well, you speak with us now, please. Who's with us? Who's here? Good Do you want me in here? 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 Do you want 
Well, yeah, might have thought been better. There's stations on there. Okay, what I'm getting in here is this was like the prison part. Yeah. So this was the cell where they would keep their victims if they needed to punish somebody. They would be put in here. There's uh, there's guys and girls as well that have been in here. Um, these are politicians who they wanted to get rid of. Women who wanted to get rid of. Um, names. Come on, anyone here? We used to be in prison in here. Do you want to talk with us? Somebody came in here a couple of years ago and apparently they were touched. Thought they were touched by Satan himself. Satan come here. Sacrifice people. Show yourself in the smoke. That's great. That's not a good one again. You are for another one, let me know when. Because yeah. that works really well. I can get you to blow into the smoke area here. Yeah. I'm taking like, like you get any mix. I'm getting <coughs> dozens of pictures. I'm doing like a speed capture. Can I just say? I think this room is the room where the women and the boys were brought and they were, they were taken out one by one and the, the, the rituals that happened upstairs and they were brought down and were fed here because if you look down there on the other side there's, there's, there's a recess where a place can be put it's oval down, can you see it there? Get it. Fine. Just there's good. That's fine. Okay, so what we want you to do is we want you to come forward and show yourself in the smoke. Okay. Is there anyone there? Children, men, women? Names, please. Come on, who's with us? We have a simple question now. This room, we believe this room was used to get captured. Can you confirm that by coming along to this device and trying to speak through it? A simple yes will do. Just any answer to confirm that we believe this room is where we get captured. Thank you. 
There's one Molly. Your name's Molly. Or somebody's going to say the name Molly. Can you confirm that again for us? That last one when he said help, he was like, it looked like they were down in the depths of hell. Would you like us to help you? Stuart can help you. Stuart can sense you more. We can sense what Stuart can sense you a lot. Anyway, Stuart can help you. Yeah, Stuart can help you. Yeah, Stuart can help you. Yeah, Stuart can help you. So basically, we're not, we're not ready with the service, and we're on the lowest frequency, it's been set to 100. So, I'm going to do it backwards. Yeah, it's, it's in reverse sweep. So if you get the forward twice, as well. Do you have any more names from this? Since the men and children and women. That was brilliant. Simon. Any more? Shout some more names out. We know you're here. We know you can see us. We're not afraid of you. We just want to know a little bit about you. We just sat down here. Is it a bad place? Oh, sir, it's it's on again, it's fine to me. Can Can you throw the hell still on? Can you throw the hell fire? Can you say hell fire? Would you invite it here? Are you trapped in this room, in this place? Help me. How can we help you? Are you grounded in here? Can you 
sacrifice. Mm. I feel sick. You know? Yeah. What do you think about it? You said yes. Said what? Yes, yes, yes. I feel sick now. Yeah. yeah. You have like the word sick feeling in the magic. That's the stomach to the stomach. Yeah. Is that what you were getting now? Yeah, like I really want to throw up. Pretty bad. Seems like you're affecting slowly really bad here. Um, we don't mean any harm, we come in peace. You feel very sorry for what happened with here, we were trying to find more. Were you abused, badly treated? During a PSP 11 session we received several responses. We can stop them, get Tony and Satan. The dark nature badly affected Tony making him feel sick and wanted to leave the area immediately. The energy was thick and incarnate, the room went ice cold and we felt like a badness was rapidly descending upon us all. Satan. That's it, Satan. Now then, I'm going to ask you another question. Are you thinking Satan because of the rituals that went on here, or was it actually satanic rites in this building? Would it appear that way to people in mass that you brought to this place? You know what the hell was going on? Quite simple people, so they would think that it was the devil. Yeah. If you want to speak to me, you've got to come right here in front of me. I'm going to put my hand down for you. Come and say something to me now. Tell me something. As we bring our investigation to a close of the Hellfire Caves, we fully intended to investigate this location at night. However, inclement weather reports suggested we abandon a nighttime venture. It gave the team the opportunity to show that paranormal activity at locations happens both day and night, and therefore we conducted this investigation in the mid-afternoon. And we were totally shocked and amazed at how active the Hellfire Cave is, even during the day. Dark, horrible energies, malevolent, are instantly felt the moment the team steps inside. What unfolded in the investigation was sad, pitiful and incarnate trapped souls in purgatory. Some of these captures were astonishing and very dark and sinister. But what the team encountered here on its investigation clearly shows the scale of paranormal activities very high in the Hellfire Caves, very foreboding.